Hi, my name is Mike with the Kohler Engine Service Team, and in this short video, we're going to talk about smart choke system theory of operation, components, modes of operation, and troubleshooting. First off, what is smart choke? Smart choke is a system that utilizes a combination of an air vane and an electrically operated, thermally reactive, bimetallic spring to operate the choke. These two elements work together to operate a smooth choke system that facilitates easy, reliable starting. The components of the smart choke system are the air vane, torsion spring, pull-off link, choke lever, the thermostat, also known as the electrically controlled bimetallic spring, and the oil pressure switch. It is important to understand the purpose of each component in the system and understanding its role during the various modes of operation. There are four modes or choke positions to smart choke operation. Cold start. Engine is cold and the engine is off. Warming up. The engine is cold with the engine running. Engine warm. The engine is warm with the engine running. And warm restart. The engine is warm with the engine off. Cold start. When the engine is cold and the engine off. The choke is closed. The thermostat is holding the choke in the closed position. Warming up. Engine cold with the engine running. Immediately after the engine is started, the air vane partially opens the choke. The running engine blows air onto the air vane which exerts a small force on the pull-off link to open the choke approximately 40%. Additionally, with the engine running, voltage is provided to the thermostat from the oil pressure switch. As the voltage is applied, the thermostat heats up and slowly opens the choke to the fully open position. As long as voltage is applied, the thermostat remains in a heated stage slowly opening the choke. It takes approximately two minutes for the choke to reach fully open position. Engine warm. Engine warm and the engine running. After approximately two minutes of operation, the choke will be in the fully open position. This is due to the thermostat reaching the fully heated position, holding the choke open. Warm restart. Engine warm with the engine off. At this point, the engine is off. With no force being applied to the air vane, the torsion spring presses the choke to a warm restart position. With the engine off, no voltage is being applied to the thermostat, which means it is slowly cooling. As it cools, it slowly returns the choke to a fully closed position for a cold restart. Until it is fully cool, the choke will remain partially open in a warm restart position. It may take up to 10 minutes for the thermostat to cool completely and the choke to fully close. Let's take a look at three different troubleshooting scenarios that may be encountered with the smart choke. Troubleshooting scenario number one, no start and the choke not closed. This situation is where the choke will not return to a closed position with a cold engine. When this condition exists, you should inspect the following. Sticking components, specifically the air vane and pull-off lever. Remove the blower housing and make sure that the air vane and pull-off lever are moving freely. Missing deformed linkage or other components. Reports from the field indicate that technicians who misunderstand smart choke may attempt to bend or distort linkage so the choke fully opens from the air vane alone. Closely inspect all linkage and components for mechanical damage. Lastly, Damage to the thermostat. With the engine cold, make sure that the thermostat moves freely with other linkage. A thermostat stuck in the open position may prevent the choke from closing. Troubleshooting scenario two. Engine starts but runs rich. If an engine starts but runs rich, you want to inspect choke operation for proper opening and closing. You'll want to look for the following. Immediately upon startup, does the choke open approximately 40%? If no, inspect the air vane and linkage to the choke. Possible causes may be misplaced wires, spark plug rub, or an out of place blower housing. Additionally, you're going to want to check the idle RPM to make sure it is in specification. An idle that is too low may not engage the air vane. 
Troubleshooting scenario number three. Engine starts but runs rich after one to three minutes. This is caused by the choke not opening fully after operation. You will want to inspect the following. Inspect for voltage and ground being provided to the choke thermostat. Inspect voltage at the oil pressure switch and operation of oil pressure switch. Inspect connection at the oil pressure switch. Let's review. The smart choke uses a combination of mechanical and electrical components to operate. Remember, it takes time for the choke to fully open and fully close before, during, and after operation. Be sure to check the movement of all mechanical components and verify that the thermostat is getting proper ground and voltage when the engine is running to ensure a proper diagnosis.